Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's episode of On Sundays We Stamp, we're stamping Head Be In Charge Nails. That's right, H-B-I-C. We're going to start off with Back to Black by Sally Henson Insta Dry, which is my absolute least favorite black nail polish. I don't recommend buying it. Not sure why I have it, but now that it's here, I have to use it. So I'm using two coats. Even after two coats, there is still some patchiness to deal with. If you want a really good, thick coated black nail polish that covers everything, use Memento Mori by Sear Colors. Next, we're going to use this Geolicious Stamp Plate by Clear Jelly Stamper. It is $14.50 for their large plates. When you get it in the mail, make sure it's not bent. Mine was bent and I didn't use it immediately, so I didn't notice that it caused problems with picking up the stamper. I literally have to hold it down flat with one hand and pick up with the other. After picking it up on a stamper, go ahead and put some clear nail polish on it and let that dry for about five to seven minutes. You do this because when you put the gold over it, what ends up happening is that the lines tend to shift and you don't want that. And now I'm picking up this plate by Maniology. It's a collaboration with Nail Bees and I am picking up the bees. They are adorable. And this is just a regular black stamping polish by Maniology. And now I'm picking out my favorite three bees to put on my nails. You don't have to use all of them. You can paint all of them and then save them. This was literally just the last one I needed for this one finger. I did another full stamp of these that I painted in with white and a yellow color. I'm taking clear nail polish once again and I am painting over them, making them their own individual decals and putting those aside to dry. While those are dry, this stamp should finally be completely dry. As you can see, it's beautiful. The lines didn't shift. I totally love it. And I'm cutting it in half because this thing is big enough to do two nails on one hand. Man, this clear nail polish is my best friend. I'm using it to make my nails sticky so that the decal will apply nicely. And I'm only putting it to about halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway up my nail. And to get it really well placed on there and get the whole crevices and everything, I'm using just a regular run-of-the-mill makeup sponge to press down. It kind of conforms to the shape of the nail and gives you a good cutting area. And I'm using my Orly Cuticle Pusher, which I got off of Amazon. And this thing is great for getting around the edges because it's just perfectly shaped to my cuticles. And just with a couple of little presses, I can get it cut perfectly. Don't forget to clean up the edges with your cleanup brush covered in acetone. And now your bees are dry, so go ahead and pick those up too and place them wherever you want on the nail. I like to do them in sets of three unless my nail is longer and then I'll go ahead and do like, you know, maybe four or five. I'm taking the stamping polish again and I'm just filling in these little spots for their eyes that didn't get picked up. I tried to pick these up a lot, but I couldn't get the whole thing, so I think my stamping polish is officially getting old. Then go ahead and cover your nails in top coat to protect the beautiful, beautiful nails that are there to remind you to be yourself and other people's to mind their business. That's right, be puns. They're all over the place. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.